Hey everyone, how's it going? Right now, I'm gonna start the new, uh, the next course, um, uh, hang on. Oh yeah, sorry about the, uh, the lagging, uh, I tried to change the uh, graphics just to make it less laggy, but you know. Plus there's so many players just making it more laggy, so, yeah. So yeah, this is a course I'm gonna start on, called Rune Mythos. Yeah, that means I get to learn how to craft these runes. Yeah. Alright, let's get started. And before we do, I just want to uh, show you. Uh, yeah, this is my uh, necromancy uh, character. Yeah, she's a white necromancer. Yeah, just give me a minute. You know, even with the graphics, lacking still gives me a minute finger. It's, it sucks. So, yeah, here's the Farrak uh, Qual. Or Call? Is that? Yeah, yeah, far right answer, Qual. I um, sorry, I was looking over the door behind me. Qual, yeah, and I'm wearing just the courier clothing. I call it white or ivory white. I don't know which. All right, let's get started. You know, got plenty ahead. You know. Okay, ready. Ah, our right, second. What necromancy wisdom might I impart? Upon your this hour. Sure, yeah. So, uh, Dev has <clears throat> encouraged me to share some of the secrets of necromancy with you. So, shall we? Yeah, sure. Wait, <laughs> did I already done this? <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I got a little confused. I mean, I did say yes. <laughs> Wait. Sure. What are these secrets in? Hmm, where to begin? I could teach you a little about the source of necromancy, or how to craft necromancy wins. Or maybe some uh, incantations? Yeah. Any preferences? Well, actually, I was going to choose runes, but I say the source of necromancy, because I where it all began in RuneScape. So, this necromancy, where did it come from? You know how there's a relationship between anima and magic, like the former fuels of the latter. Yes? Yeah, it doesn't come from that. But, but it's not far, uh, far, uh, I can't, sorry, I had a little trouble speaking, reading. Uh, sorry, I'm just adjusting my ch uh, chair. But it's not far off. Instead of anima, it's fueled by necromantic energy, which itself comes from a lot of different sources. Or from one single source I am not familiar with, maybe. There are a lot, I mean, where a lot of things, uh, I, said, I can't talk and speak, well, read. Where a lot of things die, around graveyards and battlefields, down here in the underworld through uh, dark portals, it builds up and then undead wagonances ensures. Necromancers learn to channel that energy, concentrate and focus it on a, I mean, for a project level end. It's unusually is more limit on their concentration. Def, definitely, uh, okay, I thought it was deadly. Deathly incantations and so on. So the death guard is a form of protection and my lantern like a focus. Indeed, your lantern connects you to your power base and allows you to bring forth spirits from the underworld to fight alongside you. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. But by a death guard, that necromantic energy would slowly corrupt you, like a ganguria or a really severe electric reaction to mushrooms. It's why you can't, I mean, don't see any necromancers. Most beginners, shall we say, N. I see. Learn quick or die trying. Wait, mushrooms? Yeah, what's that to do with a. I have allergies. So what? Is that why you sometimes summon mushrooms? Okay, so these uh, special kind of runes. What are they? They're exactly like magic runes, just with more necromancy and no magic. I mean, I guess that's much. Right, sorry. Yeah. 
Well, your preference, just like other runes, except you shall only do so with impure essence. I'll teach you the essence which you'll need for impure essence from in a moment. I figured out the ritual after I stumbled upon some necromancy rune altars. I got the desperate impression that he made them. Who? In a kitchen, I guess I can't read that, was such as an old and powerful necromancy. It was probably the first necromancer. You can say his name, you know. It's not some big secret. I guess you haven't met yet. No, oh, excuse me. Sorry, it's just a burp. So, I mean, oh, so how do you know about necromancy runes? I've been exploring um since I arrived, and I was drawn in by some whispers of a dark portal over the bridge. I feel like I was being led to it. By uh, you know who? Sorry, right? <laughs> Harry Potter reference. After a ritual to make some impure runes, I'll point you towards where to use it. Beyond creeping the impure essence, the purpose is like a, the crafting other runes. Okay, now this one. So incantations aren't those like magic spells? Well, yes, and also no. The process is much like the same. Your ability as an alchemist will determine which in conditions you can form. Plus, you require necromancy runes to do so. Your measure uh, uh, prophecies and the usual measurements won't play any part, though. You might also come to learn some incantation from writing of necromancers of old. Keep in mind for stuff like that. There are incantations for various uses. For a while fighting, for use during rituals, Plus some other support or uh, into I don't know I can't read it other uses. Never convinces for magical help for necromancy in conditions either. Say anything you have to store wounds, save them, decrease costs, that sort of thing. All right. Hmm. So we might be able to make some equipments. I can't read that. Yet. Specifically from necromancy. Hmm. Leave that with me. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Very well. On the next thing. Just checking the door behind me up. In case someone tries to creep up behind me up. I think we should get you set up with some necromancers so you can use them for incantations. To do that, you'll need to learn a new ritual. Want to imbue objects with necromantic energy. If you do that, with some pure essence, you can primary work to take on some specific uses in the form of necromancy runes. Here, take some pure essence and some ritual compounds. It should be enough to set up a lesser ritual. This is a one time freebie, so don't lose it. Else you'll have to replace them of your own. Okay. Thanks. Now head there to the ritual site and start a lesser ritual. Alright. So we're gonna, you know, do some witching. Okay. All right, let's do this. No, I'm sorry, I just want to turn off the mic, you know, just in case there's some unusual noise behind me. Eh, I'm sorry, I just realized I accidentally hit the wrong thing. I accidentally did the witch over this one. It's okay, uh, once I'm done here, I'll do the rune thing.
All right. Not a sad up. That's cool. Yeah, that's where I see him. Eesh. He went startled me that one time while I was at Elbow. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I see him. Well, I gotta like that. Okay. Alright, oh, yeah, I got, got some runes. You know, I just realized this quest is a reference uh, to that rune crafting quest. You know, when you learn how to craft runes. Yeah, rune mystery or something. Yeah. Okay, he said I can... Yeah, don't forget to take it out uh, on no dig. Take on bears will lead to hike all the way to the others and it'd be no dig. Yeah, that would be embarrassing. Yeah, it's a snake, but I imagine you're familiar with just one slight difference. There are no room for the altars for the forbidden Nicholas runes. Yeah, that means you can't change the color of your rune guardian pet. Yeah, there is a for a, a dark portal high up to the city to save the waterfalls and into this. You can craft theirs. I highly suspect Rise of Grey, but we can turn a, a power against him. Alright, I just want to give some of it, guys. You know, just to, uh, hurry along a bit. I'm sorry, the lacking being, uh, you know. Yeah. Hey, hang on, I'll, I'll be right back. I need to do something with this. Hey, everyone, uh, sorry about that. All right, now, now as we continue, we're going to try and craft these uh, special necromancy rings. But first, I'm going to check and see if the, uh, the abyss of time will work. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I put the abyss of time uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, right, so apparently they did work. That's cool. Hmm, I wonder, hang on. Okay, I guess not. Uh, there's no, uh, you know. Okay, a uh, dark portal. Okay, to the Norbeast. Wait, is that a magical chest? Uh, or is it coming by a player? Let me find out. Yep, that's a player. Oh, I mean, that's a, a NPC. Oh, I can deposit stuff there. That's cool. <laughs> Stop with that, I know why I haven't just trying to turn off the mic whenever I don't speak or something.
Yeah, I see it for real. I found my support on my bag. Yeah, I thought that lamppost was the portal. You know, I know I said this but I'll say it again just this once. Once like this, I wish my PC is a gaming PC. You know, it, uh, like I said, uh, even if I try to learn the graphics, this uh, lagging thing still gives me the middle finger. Okay, that means just... Oh, nice. Okay, so what do I do? What was that? Uh-oh, it's this guy. You know, it's best not to, uh, you know, make contact, uh... Yeah. Stop- oh, wait. Stop playing with things you clearly aren't ready for. Okay, just annoying. Okay, so yeah, apparently I can't do it without this guy bugging me. Alright, well, I'll talk to you. I think what you want from us. Hey, what, Sil? What are you doing here? Waiting for you, of course. It was in your fantasy that you would wish you. I don't see if I would be sooner. Perhaps I was just thinking about your capability. Well, in my defense, I'm not using a gaming PC, which is unfortunate. Yeah, my head's issue, yeah. Yeah. Where am I? What is this place? Sure, we can't be in Airbus. I assure you, we're not. Wait, how do you know what Airbus is? That's not important. It is a public division. A concentration of nicomeric ailments taken from Airbus. But these are room crafting altars, right? I thought that was the name all. Why would he make these? Any others you may have visited before, yes. The ones here. He will never have dared. No. This is just a place of my making. So he made this place? Yeah, sorry, Renick. You made room crafting altars? I find it hard to believe. I never heard of you until recently. Who are you exactly? In time, you, if you prove not to be yet another failure, then you might just find out. But I know perversely who we are. We're a guardian. Oh my! Wait, how did. Okay, this is crazy. I'm not the word guardian. Well, not anymore. You may have lost the title, but you still bear the responsibility, especially concerning the mess you made. Wait, what mess? Yeah. What did I do? What mess are you talking about? You better answer. Have fun with necromancy words. I shall be keeping an eye on your process. Don't disappoint me. Like I've been hearing that one before. Yeah, he's like, ah, why is he so frustrating? Alright, that's, uh... Hmm. Which one do I... Oh, spirit words. Okay, okay. Grab the spirit altar. The, the lingering boost of uh, of fees. Okay, sorry. The lingering power of fees boosts the number of moons you are crafting by five percent. <laughs> Thanks, V. Even if he's not not around anymore, he still finds a way to help me.
I went to the wrong spot. My bad. Yeah, I stayed out. Hmm. Maybe the color of the moon can work. I don't know. I'll figure out our next video. Well, actually, I'll figure out after this video is done. And next video, I'll let you know if it does or not. Hey, bye. Ah, our circle. What next Mr. Winston will I do? Well, I already did say that. What do you think of the next Mr. Woodcraft, you know, Alters? I didn't like, like the look of that place, and why is there something not good? Yeah, the lagging. Okay, there we go. I think I know what you mean, but it's just a pug dimension, like the other women all have crafting altars. Yeah, the lagging just. Yeah, they like to mess up the vibe. Whatever you're thinking of, it's not really that place. It might just look like it. Try not to dwell on it. Anyway, you should try putting those spirit wings to use next time you fight. You can start with lesser bone shield. It lets you access certain defense abilities that will usually require you to wear a shield. Should come in handy, as necromancers can be a, a bit squishy at, uh, yeah, squishy at times. Yeah, I know that feeling. All right, and I'm done. All right. Yeah, I just want my uh, familiar or something to have a good look or whatever, even though it's an override. Right. All right, that is uh, the end of this video. If you like, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you don't mind the lag and all, it's just, uh, <laughs> I'm low budget. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, again, hope you all enjoy necromancy. And what do you think of the white necromancer, or white necromancy? Yeah. Alright, that's my L. In the next video, well, I already said before, it's just a quest thing. <laughs> Alright. See you, everyone. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have a little trouble for us. All I can say is that uh, in the next video, I'll do uh, any of those other quests for Necromancy. I don't know which. Alright, so be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, everyone, and have fun with Necromancy.